Hi everyone, my name is Mohammed, and today I'm going to show you the Facebook solution template. The Facebook solution template is an Azure solution and allows you to follow one or more Facebook pages to monitor for brand and campaign management. Just like other templates, the template can easily be set up by going to the Get It Now button here. And once you click Get It Now, you'll be taken to our web-based provisioning experience, which will help you set up the solution template in a matter of a few clicks. Once you've installed the solution template, you'll be given a Power BI file, which will contain a specific set of reports to analyze your Facebook data. Today, the example I wish to use is imagine you are a comic book owner and wanted to analyze the Facebook pages for Marvel and DC. Once you open the Facebook report, you'll be then shown the post overview page. This page is dedicated to showing you posts that come in on a day level. I can, for instance, see trending key phrases, top authors, and trending hashtags for all posts. I may be specifically interested in looking at specific users. So if I drill in to this user here, I can see that this user across time both speaks at Marvel's Facebook pages as well as DC Universe. To find out which specific posts he made, I go onto the right hand visualization and slice through all his posts. If I wish to respond to a specific post, I click on one of the posts and navigate directly to Facebook. The next page is a comments overview page, which looks at user comments across the Facebook posts. I can look at the trending key phrases, the top authors, or the trending hashtags for these comments. As a branding campaign manager, I may be very interested to see the trending key phrases, to see what users are talking about, which movies they're talking about, and see if any unreleased movies are getting a lot of attention. In this case, I'm going to drill into the Avengers film, which hasn't released yet. As you can see, and as I would expect, Marvel Cinematic Universe Facebook page has a lot more Avengers posts. But I see a huge spike in DC Universe's posts for Avengers. This is really surprising to me. So I can use the right hand side visualization to quickly drill in and find out what that was. By drilling in and quickly navigating through these Facebook posts, I can quickly see that users are comparing the Justice League trailer to the Marvel Avengers films. This is really insightful for me as a brand and campaign manager, I may want to reach out to these users or specifically drill in and see what kind of sentiment these posts have. The next page looks at the average sentiment across each day. This time the trending key phrases, the top authors and trending hashtags are color coded by the sentiment. As a campaign manager, I may specifically want to isolate one specific Facebook page. And so I'm going to use the left hand side Facebook page filter to quickly look at Marvel. By drilling into Marvel, I can see that the average sentiment across day is generally very positive. However, on May the 25th, they had a very negative sentiment. Let's find out why this may be. By clicking the specific day, I can see the trending key phrases and top authors for that day. And as you can see, month and blame Hydra are very high on the list. Let's see what happened. So as you can see, as I start navigating the post, a lot of users are complaining or saying, what happened to you guys? Or sorry to hear that. So let's scroll through chronologically and see what actually happened. If I go straight to the bottom, I can actually see Marvel announced that they are discontinuing posts for a month due to unforeseen circumstances. And this is why there's been a negative sentiment. Again, as a branding campaign manager, I can quickly analyze negative sentiment or positive sentiment and quickly analyze and respond to these users. The next page looks at posts made by the page owners on their own Facebook page. This is very handy for a branding campaign manager as I can quickly see which posts have had the most influence by looking at the middle visualization and stack ranking them. The posts are at the moment stack ranked by sentiment, sum of total likes, sum of total comments, and sum of total reactions. However, if I decide that one category makes more of an influence to me than others, I can go ahead and reweight these. By using the reweight options of the visualization, I can say, hey, sentiment makes more of a difference to me, and so I can give that a higher score. What will now happen is a reweight will take place, which will give, this a, give the ones with sentiment a higher score, and I can see the most influential posts. By drilling into one specific post, 
I can quickly see the top authors in the comments, the trending key phrases in the comments, and the trending hashtags in the comments, as well as navigate the comments. The next page looks at the user posts rather than the page owner's posts. And again, I can quickly navigate and reweight posts based on importance. The next page looks at external post responses. So these are user posts that have been made to my page and which posts have I responded to. As a branding campaign manager, I may be very curious to see when a user is dissatisfied with my service. And I may want to monitor how often do I respond to these posts. The middle visualization quickly shows you all that information by looking at which posts have I responded to and which ones have I not. As you can see, Facebook and Marvel rarely reply to Facebook users' posts. On some occasions they do, so let's drill in to see which posts these are. I can quickly drill into specific days and see what posts has a Facebook page owner made. I can also navigate directly into Facebook and tweak or edit responses. This information is vital for me to run a successful Facebook page and I can also monitor the trend over analysis to see how my response rate is improving and how the overall sentiment is improving as well. The next and final page looks at user interactions, which is to aid you in your analysis. The user interactions page shows you which users are commonly talking with other users. So if I zoom out, I'll quickly see that there are a few clusters of users. These clusters show you your most influential users, which users are commonly most occurring across other pages, other responses. I may use this information to filter out the sentiment page to look at these user posts, or filter out the external post page and see which post rankings have been affected by this user. I can again drill into specific pages by looking at Marvel or DC, and the graph will update. I can also look at across a specific time. So if I want to look at the last seven days and see what clusters have been performed, I can see that immediately from this information. Thank you for watching the campaign brand management for Facebook. Please remember to click get it now to actually install the solution template or click test drive to see the sample reports that I've demoed for you today. Thank you.